What's up, Facebook? Hey there, Instagram. Hope you guys are doing incredibly, incredibly well. Today, we're talking about how to implement like an expert and get so much more done in your day. And this is specifically how we get so much shit done during the day. And I want to share that with you guys as well, because this particular day and age and the time that people have these days on their hands and you know also the time that some people don't have as well and i want to show you guys how to or i would say or reword that time they don't they know that they they say they don't have that they know of right so that's specifically what we're going to be talking about today we're going to be talking about how to get more done during the day uh like an expert right so this is exactly the, what we're going to be talking about today i'm excited for this one because I see so many people procrastinating over things. I see so many people, uh, you know, struggling to get things done. And it's sometimes just the simplest things. I see people getting bogged down into the detail of stuff and, you know, wanting to perfect things. They're wanting to make things perfect, right? Or perfect in their beliefs. And this is this is holding people back right it's holding people from being able to progress being able to move forward being able to take more action being able to live the life they want to live being able to live the business that they want to live being wanted to make the impact that they want to make and this is holding people back every single day because they're looking to make things perfect that are never going to be perfect like there's always going to be something to get wrong, right? And my belief is progress is better than perfection. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. I want to give you guys some insights, some strategies, some tactical stuff that you can do and implement and use to be able to get better, not only in your business, but your whole entire life, which is even bigger than that. So that's what I want to share with you guys today. I want to share with you how to make more progress over things being per perfect because things are never going to be perfect, unfortunately. No matter how much you do it, go over it, re-look at things, all this sort of stuff, you're always going to be able to pick something up in your work that isn't perfect, right? So progression over, perfe over perfection. This is what we're going to be talking about today. Now, I want to give an example of this too, right? So we talk online marketing, right? I talk a lot around marketing and I talk a lot around sales. So I want to project this around marketing today, okay? So something very simple, I want to use something tangible that all you guys can grasp and you can hear what I'm talking about. And so what I want, what it is is that let's just imagine that you've got this website or this landing page that you're looking to put together. You're looking to, you know, generate more leads. You're looking to, to grow your business, right? So now you've gone, okay, the outcome that I want is I want to generate leads. That's the first one. You want to know within any subject, what it is that you're doing. You want to know that you've got an outcome for a lot of you, your service-based businesses and things like that. Uh, when it comes to a service-based business, the real outcome is not only a lead, but it's to get an appointment to fill a calendar so that you can have conversations with people, right? So when it comes to, to this level of business, what we want is we want an outcome, which is a lead and an appointment. So now we know what that is, right? What a lot of people go down now is they go get bogged up into the detail and they're like, what do I do? How do I do this? You know, how do I articulate this? What should I write as my heading? How should I do my video? How should I do all this sort of stuff? They get bogged up in the tactics before they even start. Right? So I talk about progression over perfection. It's like you want to, once you know your outcome and you know what it is that you want to do, you know, now that the landing page is the next thing or the website is the next thing for you. So uh, instead of getting caught up in the tactical, you know, what's going to be my headline, what's going to be, how am I going to do my video? Should I do a video? Should I not do a video? Um, should I, you know, how am I going to articulate my copy? 
What sort of offer am I going to put in place? All this sort of stuff, right? Yeah, you want to know what your offer is, right? You want to know what your offer is. It's part of the outcome. What am I going to give somebody? And then it's like people go, oh, my God, I get caught up. They get caught up in the detail then around, uh, you know, what should be in my, you know, download and all this type of stuff, right? All this little fluffy shit. And really, you do not want to get caught up in that yet because you want to basically put the raw bones, which is number two. You want to get the raw bones of something together, Okay. Um, so every, everything that I always do, like within, within our war room event, for example, and within the 300 mastermind, these two particular programs, we've got literally step-by-step step walking you through this exact process with putting your strategy together. So it's like, it goes through who's your ideal client. Then it goes through your outcome. What's your outcome for the strategy. And then it goes through, uh, exactly step-by-step, step, right? It gives you a template to go by. Okay. So you get a templated landing page, for example, um, and on that template, it's literally then it's got all the raw bones of something together for you already. It's already templated for you. So then on that one, so that was number two, you got to have the raw bones of something together to get a picture for it, right? And it's always progress over perfection, right? Some people want to get their headlines right as they're doing it. You don't want to do that yet. You want to get the raw bones of something together. So you got something to work with because if you don't have something to work with, then <laughs> you've got nothing, right? So it's always progress over perfection. So, and it's a step-by-step -step thing. So the first one is the outcome. The second one is having the raw bones of the design together. You just join the 300 mastermind or come to our war room. We just walk you through this. Um, then it's, once you've got that raw design, then you start looking at the details, okay? So you start looking at the details, like your first thing you would do is you would go through and articulate the landing page. So it would be the headline, okay? What's included? You, you create a creative for your download, right? So you go across to Canva or something, you create an ebook or, or whatever that is. And then, you know, you change your little uh, headline at the bottom of it. And then you put your terms and conditions and things like that on it as well. Then you look at the detaily things, right? So, and then it's not like you don't sit there for an hour and go, what am I going to put? What you do is you literally just put in what you think it is to start with and you get the raw bones of all of this together, okay? So because done is better than perfect. A lot of the time we will get stuck, like when we get stuck on something, right? Or we we believe that we're stuck on something, the answer's in our head, we're just questioning ourselves. So by physically actually doing it, right? So doing the actions necessary, doing the actions necessary, getting the, the raw bones of how you want your copy articulated and what's included in your offer and all this type of stuff onto the landing page, get it done and dusted in place, and, and once you've got all of that together, it puts you then in a better standpoint as well for step, for step uh, four, where it's you can go through and perfect it. And that's where you get someone that knows what they're doing in place to help you, right? So you do one or two things. You outsource it to someone to get all of this done for you. And you then, uh, you then go through and you get them to do it all for you. That saves you time so you can work on things that matter, you just pay good money to an expert that does it every day, right? Or you come to something like you know, our war room event, for example, right? Which is, you know, you get walked through it all step by step over three days where you get all of this just basically done with you in the room. We help you put all the copy together. We help you put all the offers together. We help you place all of the ads. We help you rewrite all your sales scripts, all of your sales processes. We help you rewrite everything from start to finish, all of your automations, all of your emails, the lot, all done for you, right? And we do it all in the room with you all the way through the process, right? So it's like you, you then go through and you get all of this done live with a person. So if you've got all these raw bones of everything together, you got to articulate it articulated in a certain way, right? Then when all of that's completed, you get them to look over it. Because what a, what a coach can do or a consultant or an expert or you know an out someone that you outsource the work to to get them to do it for you right what they can do is they look at something and they can go because they do it every single day they can look at your headline and the way you've articulated it right and they can go mm, okay i would change this word 
right? Because a lot of the time, what it can take is just the change of one word to get a higher conversion rate through your landing pages, through your websites, through your marketing, just the use of one word differentiate, like one word differentiating it. For example, right? Like if you look at finance, the finance industry, and then you look at our, the coaching industry, they both have very different terminologies they use around, you know, uh, making sales or, uh, deals or that type of stuff. So like the finance industry, for example, like depending on what part of the finance industry it is, it's like one part of it is, uh, one part of it is, you know, they'll talk about volume or they'll talk about amount of deals. Whereas a coach would talk about clients, getting more clients or getting more leads, right? Uh, so everyone's got a slightly different terminology around the way that they talk about parts of their business, right? So this is what a consultant can do. So once you go through, you know your outcome, you put your outcome in place for all of it, which is to generate leads and appointments for a lot of service-based businesses, right? Or attend my event, show up at my event, whatever that is, that's the outcome. The second one is, you know, get the raw design together. And if you don't know how to get raw designs together, you just join the 300 Mastermind, you come across to the war room event and, and we take care of it and walk you through all of this step by step. The war room, you get all of this done in three days, completed, done, right? And, uh, and, and then when you got the raw design, because we give you the raw designs, once that raw design's done, then you go into the detail, get the raw sort of detail together around headlines and copy and articulating your offer and all that sort of stuff in the landing page. Then once you've done that, you're getting a coach or a consultant or an expert to either do it all for you and avoid all of that, or you just then get, you, you just get them to look over it all with you so you can articulate it in a better light. All right. So, and that, that's specifically how you would go about doing it, right? Because, and this is how a lot of this, this is how the successful business owners and the experts and professionals get so much more done in a day because they don't waste time. They don't waste time like going through and just, you know, uh, procrastinating on things and like, oh, should I do this? Should I do something else? Like, they move fast. They get things done fast. They take action and enormous amounts of action, enormous amounts of action. This is, what people, this is what the successful business owners do. This is how they do it. They, they don't waste time going, oh, should I, you know, thinking about, oh, that's probably, that's not right. Oh, you know, I should do it this way instead. No, that's, that's not quite right. Maybe if I do it this way, they don't do that. They just get it all on paper. The raw, the raw bones of it all. Articulate the design for a landing page, all done. Then they put through the raw bones of what they're gonna talk about in each particular section of that landing page, copywriting, all that type of stuff. Then they get a second person to look over it or they get a, uh, you know, they get a coach or a consultant or some somebody else to look over their work and give them some additional ways in order to make it happen. So, sorry guys, I'm getting phone calls on this other phone at the same time. Instagram's back. So, and this is the way you've real, like if you guys, like the part, of, like the longer you sit down procrastinating on things, the longer it's going to take, unfortunately, to get a result. And what I want from you guys is that I want you to take this information that we've shared today and I want you to start using it because the quicker you can learn this skill of not procrastinating and sticking on the things that don't even matter and start following this particular process to, to take more actions and to get more done, you will see your days completely transform in terms of getting so much more done, right? You don't, I mean, when you're putting the raw bones of things together, don't worry about the spelling mistakes for now, right? Don't worry about the grammatical errors and things like that for now. Just get it on paper, get the raw bones of things together, progress over perfection, and then 
once it's all done, that's when you go through it all in finer detail and articulate things slightly better. And you get an expert to look over it all with you as well, or look over it all for you, or even just do all of it for you as well. Uh, in something like our war room event, for example, and it's going to give you everything that you could possibly need to move forward fast and to get more done. And really, like you do this today, you can have landing pages up, you can have ads up and running, you can have so much more done during your day because you're not spending hours procrastinating and going back and forth from social media because you're thinking or you know going across to Google, Googling ideas get the raw bones of things together and start taking some different actions, right? And that's what's going to move you forward a lot quicker. So that's it for today, guys. That's like, that's what you must be doing. You must be going through these four things that I've spoken to you guys about today to really help move the needle forward. The further forward we can move this needle, the further forward your business is going to leap in leaps and bounds, okay? So no more baby steps, right? It's going to be leaps just by uh, eliminating the whole procrastination side and, you know, the, the ability to want to make things perfect because it's not going to be perfect. Progress is a lot better than perfection. I'd prefer to get some sort of result and it, for not, and it not to be as desirable as I wanted it to be uh, rather than be sitting there a week later or, you know, two or three days, days later or in some people's cases, six to 12 months later, still wondering how they could have got it done, right? Because really you can, all, all of this sort of stuff, like you get the templates, you just follow and you change templates and you get an expert to look over it for you. It saves you so much more time, right? You go over it and you make it perfect, right? The so-called perfect. An expert's going to look at it anyway and tear it apart and say, that's not like, I would change this, change that, do something else. I've had it so often with people's websites that they've come to me and they've gone, you know, I'm going to run traffic to this website. It, it looks great. It's fantastic. It's all that sort of stuff. And I look at it and I go, we're not driving traffic to that thing. No way. But if you want to drive traffic to that and you're stuck on driving traffic to that, uh, we are not going to do business. My reputation as well, right? Like my name is on everything. And if someone brings me a website that doesn't have the right strategy, it isn't articulated correctly. Um, and if they just want to run it to a normal website anyway, I don't want to do that. I want to run it to specific landing pages and things because I don't want to reinvent a wheel. I want people to get results up front. I want people to, to be able to implement and get the work done and, and get things done fast, efficiently and in place and have the best chance of success. The only reason we market is because we want more leads, more people to speak to and want to make more sales. What does sales represent? Money, air for a business. It's like air, oxygen for, like sales is oxygen for a business, right? So uh, businesses fail because they don't have enough oxygen in them, right? Oxygen, enough air to breathe. They can't make, uh, they can't make their expenses, right? All this sort of stuff, right? They can't pay their tax bills, they can't pay their credit card bills, their overheads. That's why businesses fail. So part of it is let's get marketing up and running. Let's get things going. Let's move forward. The longer we procrastinate, the worse the problems get, by the way. They get a lot worse. The longer the problems are around, the worse they get, the worse they feel, right? So the sooner you can get things up and running and, and working and uh, kicking some butt for you and your business, uh, that's when you're going to start getting the, the bigger results and start solving the problems, right? So that's, that's really what you guys got to be doing today. No more perfection. Aim for progress. Get somebody to look over your stuff. If need be, it's better that way, right? So uh, for all of you, that are following this, we've got some wicked interviews over the next week as well. Uh, we've got Amy next Friday that you guys want to tune in for. We've also got a couple other guests that are yet to be confirmed as well that you guys do not want to miss. So we've got some wicked guests over the next uh, week that you guys want to tune in and learn a little bit about. We're, and check out the one from earlier today with Amine. She was amazing. 
and an incredible amount of wealth and knowledge she has as well. So check out hers. It should be uh, pretty much pinned to the top now. It should be to the page, the Facebook page. So, uh, so tune in and, and check out that interview. We've got over 30 hours worth of content now, pretty much over the last month, month and a bit. So there's heaps of content there around marketing, sales, all this type of stuff. Um, we've got our War Room event coming up on the 5th, 6th and 7th as well. So those of you that would like to attend that, comment War Room below and uh, we'll get you across all of the details for that. And uh, we've also got a marketing blueprint up the top. You can grab access to it's just in the comments whenever you guys are ready. And uh, yeah, start kicking some goals. Start kicking some big goals. Start implementing and doing the work. Start following what we've spoken about today and in every single video that we've done over the last month and a half for you guys. Nobody else has done anything like this for any of you. Any of you that are watching live or you're watching the recordings, nobody else has ever done this type of stuff for you, right? With, with every other training, everything else that's being done on the internet, like it's very sort of raw, bro, raw bones, sort of some of it's bigger picture. They don't have as much of the tactical stuff that we do either. And, uh, you know, even in addition to that, some of them are getting you just to jump on webinars, right? Name, email, contact numbers, so they can just call you, call you, call you, just to sort of, you know, give you this type of information that we're giving you for free. So uh, you want to be tagging your friends in this. You want to be sharing this with your friends. You want to be sharing it out with more people so they can get the information as well jumping on and interacting and getting, you know, uh, questions answered. We do Q&A with all of this as well. So get on and get your questions answered that you've got. If you've got any questions, just ask it in the comments. We'll sit here and we'll answer those for you live, right? Not too many people can answer questions live these days as well and give you real life tactical as well as bigger picture type strategy. Not too many people can do that either. So uh, what I want you guys to do is just comment just uh, below. And if you want information to the war room, just type war room. Also, if you're getting value, just type value into the comments. And more importantly, make sure that you're following the page and you're seeing all of our posts first, because that way we can help you guys move forward. You get notified of all new live streams and all new interviews that we do on the page and get everything that you need in order to move forward, all right? So uh, remember this, if you do not fight for your own freedom, absolutely nobody else will. So every single day, you must get out there, take action, make it happen, implement the four main things that we spoke about today to help you progress forward, take more actions and take your business to the next level. And I will see you guys on the next live stream, which will be tomorrow, 12 o'clock, Perth Western Australia time. Take it easy, speak to you soon, see you tomorrow and go kick some goals. Remember to be the warrior.